Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a shop video. It has been a minute. Welcome to this beautiful tattoo shop, Sunshine State Tattoo, here in Deerfield Beach, Florida. It is yours truly and welcome. We got the boys here. Everybody's getting ready for their day. What are you guys doing? Just no, do what you do. Fiddling around over there. What are you guys doing over there? She's shy. Yeah, you being shy now? Aw. Well, we got my friend Kristen coming in, okay? We've already done, I've done a couple videos with her in the past, so figured she's comfortable with the camera. Why not do another video today? It's been a while since we did a shop video. Last tattoo video we just did was the boat video, so make sure you go check that out. But today, we're gonna be tattooing a peony on her elbow. I'm just getting it sketched out right now. I'm pretty much doing the main part of the bulb that I'm gonna actually stencil on her elbow today. When she gets here, I'll show you what we mean. And then I'm going to draw the rest on to kind of flow with what she's got on her arm already. I'm pretty sure I did a shark on the front part, so we're just going to kind of incorporate everything together. Alright, so see, now that I got the basic outline going with my pencil, I switch it over to the lining pen on here on Procreate. Would you guys shut up? I'm trying to make a freaking video in here, okay? First thing I'm doing though. So anyways, the final outline you do like this. And then once she gets here, we're gonna stencil this on here. And I'm just gonna add a couple more leaves to fill up some spots on her arm. And that's pretty much the gist of it. And I think it's gonna be black and gray as well. I know I should've gave you a heads up, right? Sorry, you just love being on camera though, right? No. Wanna tell everybody about yourself? Uh, hi, I'm back, Christina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Getting a flower tat? Yeah, yep, on my arm this so, time. So. Alright, so I'm going to print this out. Sweet, right? Sweet. So I'm going to print this out. We're going to get the size going and then we're going to put the stencil on you. Let's see what everybody else is doing today. It's El Tigre. That's Spanish for tiger. Spanish for the tiger. The tiger? Oh yeah, El Tigre. What would it be? Yeah, would it be O? Would that be O? O tiger? O tigre? L would be tigre. I don't speak Spanish. Yeah, I don't speak Spanish, dude. I'm doing a tiger on a hand. It's gonna be sick, like always. All right, so let me see the size of this. So we got this little great white shark that I did. Way cooler than the one I just did on the boat. Cause this one I didn't do when we were moving. So let's see here. We're gonna put this flower right here on her elbow. Now I'm gonna bring this. I'm not gonna tattoo obviously these leaves into this tattoo. I'm probably gonna 86 those and bring everything together. But that's a pretty good small one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stencil this on like this, and then I'm gonna with a marker I'm gonna draw in just to fill up all the other spaces. But good size, right? Yes. All right, got to clean the area. Are you excited to get your elbow tattooed? No. Is your other elbow tattooed? No. No? But I'm getting it next month, so. It's gonna feel yeah. good. It's nice and spicy. All right, let's. Ah. <laughs> so she's got a bunch of existing stuff. We got a scorpion here. We got the shark that I did. She's got some other little tiny bangers that we're gonna have to go around which is not a problem because doing floral stuff like this it's the main reason why I like doing floral stuff on elbows especially when people have existing tattoos is because I can make the petals go however which way that I need them to go to cover up and to fill in whatever spaces that we need so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put see how we're gonna use that space up there with the top of that claw so boom put that baby just like that all right let's see here now, like I said, all this stuff, we're just gonna bring right to the edge. Knock over that tattoo. Cool, so look, the bulb of the peony is gonna be right smack on the, her elbow. All this stuff, look, goes around her existing lettering. This top part right here, I didn't even draw it to fit that, but it just fits perfectly. The way that that claw goes in between those two petals. Dude, this is freaking perfect. The only thing I gotta do is leave out this part. That's gonna be dope. I might add a couple more leaves down here just to fill out this weird spot on her arm right here. And just kind of like tattoo as much as possible. That way her arm's nice and filled out. Sweet. Saddle on up. Get her done, man. Hell yeah. Oh, 
All right. So, bada bing, bada boom. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hell yeah, dude. All right, is you ready? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so? Fun time. I remember I got one of my elbows tattooed at a tattoo convention and uh, my buddy Troy Taylor that was doing the tattoo, he didn't have a massage table when I was getting tattooed so I literally had to sit in a chair at a tattoo convention like this the whole time I was getting this freaking rose on my elbow. So uncomfortable. So at least you're gonna sit down on a massage table because that makes life a little bit easier. You just gotta relax and take it and everybody always asks about what tattoo machines that I use it's a company called FK irons here out of Miami and this machine right here is called the EXO super awesome machine this is a 3.5 stroke just because that's just the size that I prefer to tattoo with um, it's awesome battery powered super easy to wrap up and keep sterile it's an awesome machine. The one I used on the boat the other day. You can use it literally anywhere. Don't gotta worry about cords or anything. This thing is freaking awesome. Especially for tattooing weird areas like chest pieces, back pieces, ribs, things that you gotta have like literally be on top of people to tattoo. This, there's no cords in the way. It just makes life so much easier not having to be tangled up in cords all day long. See, I'm pretty much just bringing these guys right into this tattoo. And then the way that I shade it, it's all gonna be together. It'll all look like one nice cohesive piece. What we got going on here? Shh. This is a library. God. Easy. Don't touch it. Ah, <laughs> oh, one shot, dude. I'm good. It's gonna be the worst stencil peel ever, though. There's so many cuts. Watch this. It's terrible. I'm just gonna rip it right in half. Oh, I totally lied. Yes, dude. <sighs> so cool. <laughs> All right, so this is a collab with Chase, but Chase ain't here today. So I'm gonna do all the cool stuff, and then Chase is gonna do all the other cool stuff. We're back in busy mass. All right, so we got all the big lines down. So this is outlined with a loose nine, so it's this nice fat line here, and then I'm taking my tight three. All right, and then all these little contour lines that's going through here to kind of like create shape, you know, and just make things, contour lines just pretty much give things more like turn, you know? Make them look more contour, you know what I mean? How you doing? You're good? You haven't even made a noise. It's not that bad? Wait, what? Super. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna get all these little tiny lines in here, all these little contour guys along the whole, all these leaves, which will take me another, you know, 10 minutes. I feel like I've been doing this really fast. It's been less than an hour and we already got the outline pretty much done and it's a decent size considering how little our arm is it fills up a lot of that space like we filled up down here i put some more leaves down here just drew those in with markers to fill up that space and then this i changed a little bit too so we could bring the waves out from the corners of those petals right here and then some more different leaves up here to fill up that spot as well so i'm getting there looking pretty sweet randy how you doing over there you done with the outline yet Look at these little dots, Is man. It's toy like a toy like a toy like a toy, I tell you that much. And you can see like these little guys right here. Look how small these little dots right here. Wow. And we'll just fill it in. There's no point in taking a shade or two. It can't fit it in there. So we'll clear it out. We'll be done with all the lines and the black at the same time. All right. That is the outline. Check that baby out. Woo! Squeaky clean. Look at them lines. Ooh, are you tight? Toy like a toy also, even though it's not a toy Very cool. All right, so we got the leaf, leafage, 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 flower, bulby. It is time to get this thing all shaded in. Howdy do, guys. We're almost done. Almost done. Let's get a. Uh, 
little swipey swipe so you can see what's going on. It's a little dirty right now. Oh yeah, look at that smoothness, baby. Woo! Nice. So I'm going a little dark with it just because I noticed all her black and gray heels really light. Like even if you do tattoo it pretty dark, it lightens up a lot. So I went a little bit darker with this. So that way hopefully when it heals we have the contrast that I desire. So it's pretty freaking sweet. We don't have too much left. I just gotta maybe finish this bowl, black out that center, and then I'm gonna put some put some white highlights in this thing too. Make it real fancy like. Well tell me because I got another how you doing? You're alive still? Yeah, Good? not bad. Sweet. I was nervous for nothing. You were nervous for nothing? Cool. Alright, we're getting there. So, a little trick that I like to do for my clients, back teen. You can get this at Walgreens or CVS or Quick Aid or Right Aid or wherever the hell your convenience store is by wherever the hell y'all are at. Back teen has 4% lidocaine in it. So it helps numb the area, number one, which is great for doing white highlights because that's always the worst for your clients. And number two, it just helps get the redness away from the area and it chills out the skin. It makes it feel real nice. So even if your tattooer doesn't use it, you guys can go online, buy some of this, bring it to your appointment with you, and have your tattooer use it. This is awesome. It makes their life easier and your life easier. All right, so what I gotta do is if we just sprayed it on there. Now I'm gonna wrap it with some saran wrap. We're gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes, get real nice and numb, put the white highlights in there, and then we're officially done. Hey, what are you doing over here? You working on stuff too? Yeah. What you doing? You got a, uh, a little Kobe? Yeah. Kobe and a skull? Dang, dude, that thing is sweet. Real cool. It's learning. Little tattooer in the making. All right, what we got going on over here? You guys are done with the outline for today? We are done for today. Dude, rad. Hell yeah, that is so freaking tight. Oh, and you got Ben right there Dude, too, right? Tad matching. Who did that? Oh yeah, look at all that shit. Hold on, let me see your thigh real quick. What do you got there? Yeah, that thing boy. is sweet too, dude. Hell yeah. Bad ass. <laughs> can't go wrong with a reaper. No, you can't. Yeah, it's a good start. Yeah, I can't wait for it to be done. Woo! Yeah, I'll let him pick that one and finish it. That's probably spicy up there. Yeah, no thank you. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Randall, what you got going on? So I'm laying down real quick. Ooh, look at that kitty cat. <laughs> Sick! Man, bro, that is freaking cool. So we left this open for Chase because it's a cow I have. Yeah, so Chase is gonna do all up here, guys. Well, that's looking rad, dude. I really like the, the white in between those things. That was freaking cool. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dopey-dope. Well, he's scared he's scared down. That's freaking awesome. All right, the last reveal. Check this baby out. Dude, this thing is sweet. Now, you see how that back teen is? You know, once you're done with black and gray, it gets really red and irritated, but the back teen just really calms down the skin. Makes it not as red as it was before. Got those white highlights in there looking freaking pristine. I'll check it out. I'll turn it from this finger. Yeah, that thing, dude, came out rad. I love this piece. That is awesome. I love doing peonies on elbows. Just having something organic like this just really fits this area great. Especially going in between these tattoos. The way that the leaves are placed down here. Same thing with this shark, you know, the waves coming out from there. Everything just makes sense and flows really, really nicely. Sick. All right, you survived. Maybe take some leave later to help with the swelling. The swollen, we like to call elbows the swellbows when you get them tattooed because if it's not that swollen today, tomorrow you're gonna wake up and your arm is gonna be like you're on a freaking Popeye arm, but it'll go down. There you go. All right, so that is it, guys. Thank you for watching a shop video. Finally, oh, thank you for watching Sunshine State Tattoos, guys, in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Check out the website, check out all the tattooers here. Everybody is freaking awesome. Thanks for watching again.
but they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs the flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eatin' plenty, tuck the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eating ends with these new beginnings. Yet the sign a major for the bank roll, but thank the Lord that it dies a penitentiary. Nice guy, but my inside is empty. Mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. Switch my heart is icy, walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Cool like hella cloudy, or the poison ivy. But from I get stronger when.